Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about the average daily balance method, which is the common method used by, for example, credit cards to calculate your uh, finance charge or interest for the month. So um, here we go. At the beginning of a 31-day billing period, uh, Sandra Lazaro has an unpaid balance of $780 on her credit card. Three days before the end of the billing period, she pays $400. Find her finance charge at 3.2% per month using the average daily balance method. Okay, so a couple of things. Um, the billing period is normally a month, so that's either going to be 30 or 31 days. Sometimes they'll just tell us which month, like March, and we're expected to know how many days that is. But in this case, they're actually telling us it's a 31-day billing period. The unpaid balance is referring to how much she didn't pay off the previous month that rolled over onto the next month. So the finance charge is calculated by multiplying the monthly interest rate times what's called the average daily balance. And the way that you get the average daily balance is you add up all the daily balances and divide by the number of days to get the average. That would be a lot of adding if you think about it, it's a 31 day billing period and she has except for three days so 31 minus 3 for 28 days she has a balance of 780 so we could add up 780 28 times but isn't it easier to multiply so what's usually the easiest thing to do is to make a little chart and list the number of days that you have a particular balance so in this case um, again, she had a 31 day billing period and except for the last three days, she had a balance of 780. So for 28 days, she had a balance of 780. But then for three days, she had something less, right? She made a $400 payment. So instead of having a $780 balance, 780 minus 400 is 380. So for those three days she had a balance of $380. All right so again instead of adding up 28 times 780 we're going to multiply the days times the balance and the same thing for the three days where she has a balance of 380. So let's see we're going to have 28 times 780 is 21,840 and then we're going to have three times 380 is going to be 1140 but we want the total of all the days so let's add those together so we get 22,980 okay and that is the sum of your daily balances if you added up each of the days we would get that we want to divide that by the number of days so divided by 31 and that gives us seven hundred forty one dollars and twenty nine cents so this is how much on average she had each day in the account. Notice it's a little less than 780 because at the end she did make a payment. And so that's what we charge the interest on. So we're going to take our monthly interest rate, which is 3.2% in decimal form. So move that decimal two places to the left and we get 0.032. And then we're going to multiply that times the average daily balance, 741.29. 741.29. 29 times 0.032 is about $23.72. That's how much she's going to be charged for borrowing that money for the month. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video. You can also subscribe to Miss Earn Mathematics for more math videos.